everyone, in this video we want to talk about the exponential smoothing, also called exponential moving average as well. So we want to use the data analysis tools in the Excel. The data analysis tools in, is in the data tab in the data analysis section we have data analysis toolbox. If you cannot see this data analysis toolbox, you should go to the file options in the add-ins. You should press go button and then check box these two add-ins and then press OK button. Then you can see the data analysis toolbox here. So what is the exponential smoothing? It's a method in the time series analysis. So for example, we have some data which is ordered or sampled based on the date and times. So right now I have total demand of product for each month from month one of the 2009 until the last month of the 2012. And I want to analyze these demands and also I want to predict the next month demand. The approach for the exponential smoothing method saying that if you want to predict the next month demand, this value, this demand value is somehow related to the previous demands. And it's related to all of these demand in your timeline. And this demand is more related to the newest data and have less relation with the oldest data. And uh, right now I have a formula for calculating each period based on the exponential smoothing. It's saying that the first predicted demand is equal to the previous demand. So my first period is month one. I cannot predict this demand because I have no older data but I can predict the next month which is equal to the previous one because I have just one previous demand so if I want to predict the next month the second month in my timeline I have to say that my prediction is equal to the previous month but for the next month for the third month, I can say this demand, this predicted demand, if I want to predict this demand, is equal by multiplying some coefficient to the previous demand, exact demand, plus one minus of that particular coefficient multiplied by previous predicted demand. So it's st minus one. And what is this coefficient? it's called smoothing factor and when this factor is near to the one it's saying that I have more attention to the newest data to the newest period and have less attention to the oldest data but if this coefficient is near to the zero I'm saying that the next period is somehow equal to the regular average making a regular average from all of my data in timeline so when the this coefficient is near to the one most of the data that is predicted is based on the newest period but if the, the this coefficient is near to the zero most of the prediction is based on all of this data. So we call this the smoothing factor. Also the one minus the smoothing factor is called dumping factor. The dumping factor is the factor that makes a reduction in the previous prediction. So uh, we use the dumping factor in the data analysis toolbox. If you press on the data analysis, you can see there is an option for my exponential smoothing and if I press OK button, it asks you the input range. The input range is the range that you want to make the analysis based on that. It's the data of your timeline. So I just select my demand data here 
And if you select the C1 cell here as well, you should checkbox the label because this C1 cell value is your label. It's just saying that it's total demand. But if you do not select that, you start from the C2, you just don't need to checkbox here. And the dumping factor, which is one minus alpha, you have to be defined, it have to be defined here. So for example, if I enter 0.2 as a damping factor it means that the alpha the smoothing factor is 0.8 and it's near to the one right now and the output range is the first cell that i want to start to input my data there i also check box the chart output and the standard error which i talk about this too later and then if you press the on OK button, you can see the chart is generated and you can see there is a data the uh, in two columns. The first column is the prediction demand, which is have the alpha equal to 0.8 and the dumping factor 0.2. And the second one is the standard error. And also you can see there is an A in my first cell. Why? Because I cannot predict the first period. But the next period is just equal to the previous period. The next period prediction. And the third period prediction has the exponential smoothing formula. Which is saying that it's alpha which is 0.8 multiplied by previous demand, previous actual demand, plus damping factor multiplied by previous prediction, which is the previous cell. And this formula is going to up until the end of my timeline. So I can see the last prediction. And what is the standard error? The standard error saying that how much these data have deviation from the actual demands. So uh, by Excel using period 3 to calculating these deviation, this is a standard error. So I need to have at least three period prediction. So I cannot uh, calculate the uh, first, fourth data, but the if data which has this prediction can be calculated and how it calculate it just using some x m y2 which means that first cell in the first column minus to the first cell of the second column powered by two and then plus the second cell from the first column minus to the second cell from the second column powered by two plus the third cell in the first column minus to the third cell in the second column powered by two and then by having this summation we divide it by three to have the average which called the average of the summation of the scored errors and for having the standard division i have to make a second root of this average so if I get the summation of total standard error, this is the summation of all deviation of the data. Why this standard error is useful for us? Because I do not know which of these alpha I have to pick. I need to try other alphas as well. So for example, let's try the alpha equal to 0.2. So let's use the data analysis tool again and press OK button. Here I need to define the dumping factor of 0.8 and the output range will be this cell. And then by pressing the OK button, I have my prediction, next prediction. So if I make this chart a little bit bigger I can see with the small smoothing factor I have a smoother prediction a smoother forecast and it means that 
my prediction is near to making average from all of these demand i can find out which of these data are outlier like this one which is showing that the demand in this period is go up so quickly so why this happened i can go and find out what's happened to make my demand go up and by finding out that i can make more of those actions to have more demands but i can see also here i have a smaller demand in this period and it's outlier as well so i can go and find out what's happened in this period and make some action to uh, not face such things in the future but having the bigger smoothing factor is good for make a much better forecasting for the next period so as i can see the forecasting data is much near to the actual details so it makes sense to using this exponential uh, this uh, uh, bigger factor for making forecast and using the less factor for finding out the outliers also the, i can make a summation for a standard error here and by comparing these two standard errors i can find out which of these uh, alpha are better so i can for example use the alpha 0.3 alpha 0.1 alpha 0.4 and all of those alphas to see which of these have less standard error so this is how the exponential smoothing works Thanks for watching. Until next, goodbye. In order to watch more training videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Diaco OTD. And if you want to see our products, please visit our website, diaco.co.uk.